These crocodile tears by Laura Bush and Hillary Clinton are really amazing because it was Laura Bush who didn't say anything when her husband, the criminal Bush Jr., initiated the false flag of 9-11, killing 3,000 Americans, then goes into an illegal war in Iraq where he distorted the intelligence, another 3,000 are killed, plus 300,000 are displaced. Then we talk about Hillary Clinton, the woman who has created more deaths than anybody else. I go back to Rwanda in the 1980s when Bill Clinton, the coward, was told repeatedly by me and others to intercede in Rwanda to prevent the killing of a million Tutsis. It was Hillary who told them not to do it, and Bill Clinton, of course, didn't do it. So she's responsible for the death of a million Tutsis. She's responsible for the death of people in Libya, for the hundreds of thousands of people who had to swarm into France, Spain, and Italy, who then died, the 300,000 who have been killed in Syria. One woman alone. Then we talk about Mrs. Carter. I would be very careful, Mrs. Carter, if I want to bring up Jimmy Carter's history of not having saved lives when I had to be called in the Hanafi Muslim and the FBI couldn't do what they did. And Jimmy Carter wanted to walk away from 156 hostages. And if I hadn't insisted and been treasonous, you would have had 156 deaths on your hand. So each one of these crocodile tears ladies have to be very careful about their history because they know they're lying. They know that their posturing is fake. And the American people really don't care about the first lady. The only first lady we care about is the only one who's been a refugee and the only one who's lived in a fascist state. And who that might be? Melania Trump. And she is elegant, she's smart, she's discreet, and she says exactly what she has to say and no more. That is the only first lady I will listen to. When you live under communism or fascism as she had, and her father was head of the Communist Party in Slovenia, then you know a lot about what it means to be suppressed and repressed and to be grateful to be in America. Otherwise, these first ladies should keep their mouths shut because they have no significance in our history or in our future. Yeah.